All right, guys, welcome back. It's a new week, and we got some new shades. As you may recall, the last pair <clears throat> met their demise with one of the treads of the track loader. So this week we are working on the long rafters. That's pretty much our main goal for the shed for this week is to finish those off and that'll actually finish off all of the rafters because we did the short ones, got those knocked out last week. Also, if we have time, I have another little project that I'm hoping to work on. So apparently I can't count. Uh, basic addition, subtraction, can't do it. I've got five spots left to fill with rafters here. And I only have three rafters up here to fill them with. So apparently I got off somewhere last week when I was counting and I'm too short of what I need. Fortunately, I do still have a small cant left on the mill from when we were doing it before. It's that 18, 18 and a half foot long. So we can get a couple more rafters out of that, no problem, to fill these in with. We'll just have to do the notching and cut it to length. And now, through the magic of YouTube, we have two more rafters ready to go here. So we are once again, or maybe it's finally up to the number of rafters that we need to finish out these long ones. Rafters are done. So to take a quick break from the sawmill shed this afternoon, we are going to work on another little woodworking project. And that is that you may have heard me mention before that I sell at farmer's market. And so far for my signs, I've just been using, you know, plain paper sign. You know, it gets the point across. It's got the prices on it and what I'm selling. but. I want to up my game a little bit and I'm going to put a wood, a piece of wood kind of as a, a, a background behind these pieces of paper. I'm going to have a couple different types of wood, you know, why not? I've got a sawmill, right? So that's what we're going to work on for the rest of this afternoon. So I went and raided my stockpile, very small stockpile of slabs and logs and this is what I've come up with. So first here we've got a piece of cedar, it's got some kind of buggy rot spots in it. Um, you should be able to clean that out a little bit. You know, hey, it gives it some character. Uh, next up, behind the cedar, we've got, this is actually a piece of cherry. This is the cutoff from when I made the saddle stand, and I'll link the uh, video for that up in the corner there, if you haven't seen it. So this is a piece of cherry. Over here, we've got a piece of oak. Uh, it's just a slab, so it's got bark all the way around on the other side, slab wood. I think we should be able to get something out of that. And then here we actually have, a, as you can see, a log. And this is a piece of mystery wood. I 
even when the tree came down I wasn't sure what it was so we're gonna cut into this thing see what it looks like and maybe get something out of this one too Well guys, I still don't know what kind of wood it is, but it is gorgeous. I mean, check out the grain in here, the color that's in the grain. There's a little bit of spalting going on in this. I mean, this is just beautiful. so we got all sorts of good stuff here we got some oak here that's red oak and over here we got some cherry this will get a lot darker uh, if it's wet or you got stain on it or something uh, so that's cherry and then over here obviously this is cedar that's some beautiful stuff right there and then this is our mystery wood uh, that we aren't quite sure what it is but uh, we're gonna cut up some of that into some sign backs as well. All right, and here is what we are left with. I cut these just about big enough so that a piece of paper would fit on here so I can print out a sign with the info kind of stick it onto the board and it should look pretty nice have a little live edge along the top cut along the bottom should look good all right guys so i ended up having to help my dad with the project of his on friday and of course he said oh it'll take about three or four hours something like that so i thought three to four hours that means it's actually going to take six to eight hours and it took about six and a half or seven hours to do, so I was pretty spot on with that. Uh, of course, that didn't leave any time to come out and really do any work out here on the shed. So that is going to be all that we got done this week uh, on the shed. Next week, uh, I'm not for sure what we're gonna get done next week. It's supposed to be hot, like, highs in the low 90s I think something like that all week so I'm gonna try getting some stuff done on it but I don't know how much uh, we might do a little bit of milling for uh, the uh, fascia boards which goes along the ends of the rafters here um, we haven't done that yet so we might work on that but we'll just have to see uh, how hot it is and how much I feel like being out in the hot. So, and as always, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys next week.